And they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its head in the sky. And uh, let us let us make ourselves a name to keep from being scattered over the face of the whole earth. And uh, they said means that it happened. Let us build ourselves a city and a tower means that they made up their own doctrine and worship. A city is, is doctrine and a tower is a self-worship. <clears throat> with its head in the sky means with the eventual purpose of controlling what goes on in heaven. And let us make ourselves a name means so as to gain from this a, a reputation for power. To keep from being scattered over the face of the whole earth means that otherwise they would not be acknowledged. The fact that, and they said, means that it happened follows logically from context. In this, it resembles, resembles, what it means? Resembles. It's like a mind. Resembles. Resembles. In this, it resembles the earlier statement, they said a man to his companion, which meant that it began. The passage is using the tower to describe what Babel, Babel or ba Babylon, Babel maybe. Babel. Babel. And this is Babylon. Babylon. Babylon, yeah. What Babel or Babylon is like. The fact that let us build ourselves a city and a tower means that they made up their own doctrine and worship can be seen from the symbolism of a city and from that of a tower given directly below. Tower. How to pronounce? Tower. Tower. <laughs> tower. The nature of religion. <clears throat> the nature the nature of religion is such that when charitable love cha the charitable love for our neighbor disappears and the love for ourselves replaces it we disregard this regard Disregard. What is disregard? <clears throat> disregard what faith teaches except from far as disregard or disregard i think disregard no this disregard disregard mm, it's like ignore disrespect disregard what faith teaches except so far as we can mm. so, uh, we can turn it to the processes of self-worship. We also despise everything all in worship unless it benefits ourselves and so on, unless it forms a part of self-worship. All self-love entails this consequence. Because when we love ourselves more than others, we hate everyone who does not serve us. 
and refused to favor such people unless they become our slaves. Not only that, so far as any restraint on us are loosened, we run wild. <coughs> <clears throat> we run, we run wild, uh, even to the point of lifting ourselves up above God. Personal experience has shown me that self-love acts like this when it runs loose. These are the things symbolized by the city and the tower. Tower. Self-love and every desire that rises out of it is the vilest, vilest. This vilest. Vilest. Vilest, like mm -hmm. disgusting, mm -hmm. low. <coughs> vilest most profane thing that exists and it is <coughs> and it is <coughs> the epitome 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 epitome, epitome like incarnation mm -hmm. Personification, some epitome, epitome of hell. Mm -hmm. From self love and every desire that rises out of it is the vilest, most profane thing that exists, and it is the epi epitome of hell. Epitome of hell. Epitome. Mm -hmm. It's like incarnation. Mm -hmm. Is the epitome of hell. From this, everyone can draw her or his own conclusion about what worship is like when it harbors such a quality <coughs> inside it. The symbolism of a city as doctrine or as a doctrinal view, whether genuine or heretical, was shown earlier at uh, section. 402. Now, the fact that a tower is self worship can be seen from the symbolism of a tower. Self worship exists when we set ourselves up above others so much so that we seek to be worshipped. As a result, self love, which is conceit <coughs> and pride, is called height, loftiness, and eleva elevation. Elevation, elevation. Elevation. Mm -hmm. Elevation, elevation. Elevation, and it is depicted by anything that is high up, as in Isaiah. The, the eyes of human pride will lower. And the loftiness of man will sink, and Jehovah alone will be exalted on that day. Uh, for the day of Jehovah Sabbath will come over all the proud and lofty and over all the haughty and they will be brought down and over all the cedars of Lebanon tall and lifted up and over all the oaks of Bashan and over all the lofty mountains and over all the tall hills and over every high tower and over every fortified wall. The theme there, the theme here is self-love, which is portrayed by cedars, oaks, mountains, hills and the tower, which are tall and lofty in the same author. They will be bro bro brooks, <coughs> channels of water, brooks, brooks, brooks like stream, 
river. There will be brooks, channels of water on the day of great slaughter, when towers fall. Again, it stands for self-love and for mixing conceit with worship in the same author. Conceit. 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 It's like think. Conceit, think, and ego, ego, egotism. Egotism. Egoti, ego, egotism. 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 Conceit. <clears throat> With worship. And the same author. Look, the land of the Chaldeans. This people was not. Assyria founded the land of Mon Saim. This. Sim. I don't know. I won't see him. See him. Maybe any, any land. See him. He doesn't have. They will erect. I want to see if he'll see in search. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Same best beast of the desert. Wild beast of the deserts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same. Syria found the land among Sim. They will erect. Their spy towers, the Chaldeans will raise up their palaces. Assyria will make it a ruin. This is about Tyre and its destruction. The spy tower, spy towers, the spy, spy, spy. Mm. It's like watch. Mm -hmm. The spy towers for which a different Hebrew word is being used stand for the illusions that come from there. Spy towers. It's like towers for watching. In Ezekiel, I will bring many nations up against Tyre, and they will destroy Tyre's walls and demolish its, its uh, towers, and I will remove its dirt from it and make it as dry as a rock. The meaning is similar. There is isn't self-love within worship that is self-worship is called the tower, is that a city symbolizes doctrine as shown earlier. The towers patrolled by guards once formed uh, two defenses of a city. Towers also dotted the borders. <clears throat> dotted, what is this? Dotted. Like dot com, dotted. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm along borders, also dotted the borders and were accordingly called the watchtowers, mm -hmm. watchtowers and spy towers. In addition, when the Lord's church is compared to, vine to a vineyard, different facets of worship and of its preservation are compared to a wine press and to a tower in the vineyard as can be seen in Isaiah. The fact that with its head in the sky means with 
the eventual purpose of controlling what goes on in heaven our fall now follows from the above having its head in the sky is having the arrogance to reach all the way to heaven as descriptions of babel babylon throughout the world also demonstrate and his early remarks in section about lifting one's head indicate self-love is the least harmonious with heavenly love least harmonious 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 is uh, the least harmonious with heavenly love of all possible loves it is the source of all evil not only of hatred but of vengefulness cruelty and adultery as well it is even more discordant when it enters into worship and profanes it hell consequently consists of people who love themselves and the higher they wish to raise their heads into heaven the lower they actually go and the fiercer are and fears are the punishments into which they plunge themselves plunge the fears like fear fear no fears sound uh, like yeah fears like ferocious ferocious furious furious ah furious fiercer 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 and ferocious 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 mm -hmm. fierce and ferocious fury uh, are the punishments into which they plunge themselves and let us make ourselves a name means so as to gain from this uh, reputation for power as the symbolism of making a name for themselves shows they recognize after all that everyone wants to practice some kind of worship this is a <clears throat> common trait even among non-christians everyone who contem contemplate the universe contemplates i forgot this word contemplate mm, it's like think reflect consider contemplate everyone who contempl contem contemplates the universe and especially its order order acknowledges a supreme being of course and since we seek our our or our own best welfare we venerate that being venerate venerate mm -hmm. it's like revere honor mm -hmm. we venerate that being venerate uh, besides there is something inside that tells us to do so because because such a dictate flows in from the lord by way of the angels present with each one of us anyone who does not sense that influence is under the domination of spirits in hell and fails to acknowledge god since people who build the Bab babylonian towers realize this they make a name for themselves through doctrine and piety uh, <clears throat> otherwise Piety and doctrine and piety, like re, yeah, re, reverence. Mm -hmm. Piety. Otherwise, they would be unable to win the ad adulation. Adulation. Mm -hmm. Adulation. It's adulation. Mm -hmm. Psycho, psychophancy. Sycophancy. Sycophancy. 
sick of Pansy. Mm, it's like praising, mm -hmm. glorification, Adula adulation. 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 Adoration. <clears throat> adulation of others. This is symbolized by the very next clause that otherwise they would be scattered over the face of the whole earth or in other words would not be acknowledged from this it is also follows that the higher into heaven such people can raise their heads the more of a name they make for themselves their domination is strongest with those who have a modicum 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 Modicum. Modicum, yeah, modicum. It's like a little bit. Those who have a modicum of conscience, since they lead these people anywhere at will, but they have a plethora of external restraints. Plethora, plethora, plethora. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like abundance, multitude. Plethora. They have a plethora of external restraints. 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 It's like moderation. Restraints. Mm -hmm. Plethora of external restraints for controlling those who lack conscience. Restraints. Plethora. Like abundance, mm -hmm. plethora of external restraints for controlling those who lack conscience. The fact that to keep from being scattered over the face of the whole earth means that otherwise they would they would not be acknowledged. Now follows logically from the the above. Being scattered over the face of the whole earth is dropping out of sight and so failing. Falling, failing, yeah. Failing. Yeah, failing. Mm -hmm. It's like error, failing, and so failing to be received and acknowledged. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe someone wants to read next verse, Genesis eleven five. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Genesis and Jehovah went down to see the, the city and tower that the uh, children of humankind were building. Jehovah went down symbolized symbolize a judgment on them. To see the city and tower means on their provision of doctrine and where is it? Doctrine. Mm. Where? Uh, Where sorry. It? Ah, ah so, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Of ah, doctrine, doctrine and, and profanation. Mm -hmm. Profanation of worship that the children of humankind were building symbolize, symbolizes or symbolize, symbolize. Symb symbolizes. Symbolizes. Symbolize. Symbolizes. 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 Alright, symbolizes. Mm -hmm. Symbolizes. Symbolizes and symbolizes. Mm -hmm. Alright, symbolizes things they invented for themselves. The symbolism of and Jehovah went down as the judgment on them is established by remarks above and below and by the symbolism of coming down. When it is Jehovah who does so, with respect to remarks above, earlier section, discuss the building of the city and tower of Babel. With respect to remarks below, 
later sections discuss the modeling of the of their language and the scattering of people with respect to the symbolism modeling 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 like mix up confuse mm -hmm. muddy like this it's from muddy mm -hmm. like m m to make anything mixed like this to to muddy and to 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 make anything muddy like this symbolism of coming down when it is jehovah who does so jehovah is said to come down when there is a judgment jehovah is present everywhere and knows everything from eternity so he cannot be said to come down to see only the latter of the story speaks in these terms, and in doing so, it adapts to the human way of seeing things. The true, uh, inner sense does not. That sense presents things not as they appear to be, but as they are in themselves. So in the current instance, the inner sense uh, presents coming down to see as a judgment. It is called a judgment when evil reaches its peak. The word expresses this as a time when things in general culminate or when weakness does. The situation is that every evil has limits it is allowed to reach when it goes beyond these limits. It brings evil on itself as a punishment. This is true at a specific. It is reaches its peak. What is peak? Oh. Peak. Ah, peak like maximum. Mountain. Peak of mountain. Mm -hmm. Peak. So it's specific. Specific and at a general level. The evil it brings on itself as punishment is what is then called a judgment. At first, it seems as uh, though the Lord does not see or notice that anything bad is happening. Because when we go unpunished for the evil we do, we think the Lord does not care. The moment we pay a penalty is when we first believe the Lord said, the Lord sees. And we even imagine he inflicts the punishment. It is because of these appearances then that the text says Jehovah went down to see. Jehovah is depicted as descending because he is described as the highest or as being on the highest heights. And this too accords with appearances. Because he is not on the highest heights, but at the deepest inner depth. This is why highest and inmost mean the same thing in the world. The actual judging or punishment of evil reveals itself at a lower level or at the lower... Mm -hmm. At the in lowest... Most, in most. most like hi highest and in most like what is above here, yeah, what is in most. Mm. In most. No, in most like internal. Mm -hmm. In most. It's like deep, mm -hmm. sacred, deep. In most. In most. In most. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like where is heart? Heart is in most. Uh, in us, like of us. Mm -hmm. Like this maybe. Which is why Jehovah is said to come down. As he also is in David. Jehovah, bend your, bend your heavens and come down and let me speak with you. Touch the mountains and they will smoke, hurt lightning and scatter them. Here to Jehovah's coming down stands for the punishment of evil or judgment on evil in Isaiah. Jehovah's sabbat will come down to do battle on Zion's mountain and on its hill in the same order you will come.
you will come down before you. Mountains will disintegrate. The descent here is likewise for the purpose of punishment or judgment on evil in Mika. Jehovah was uh, what leaving his place and he came down and trampled on the lofty places of the earth and the lofty places. Lofty. Mm, light, lofty is like haughty, noble, very high. Mm -hmm, lofty. Lofty places on the earth. And there. Uh, yeah. To see the city and tower means on their per perversions of doctrine and, and profanation of worship as is established by the symbolism of a city and a tower discussed above. The symbolism of that the children of humankind were building as things they invented for themselves can be seen without explanation. The children of humankind here are the daughters and sons of the church. People who are not part of the church and do not have knowledge of the faith cannot invent such things. They cannot profane what is holy, as was already explained in SS 301. Genesis mm -hmm. 11. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. It's right. the next, next verse. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Who is next? Go on street next. Genesis 11, 6. And Jehovah said, Look, the people are on, uh, uh, the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they are starting to do. And now nothing would be prohibited to them that they thought to do. Prohibited like forbidden, yeah? Prohibited. Prohibited. Yeah, prohibited. Mm -hmm. Forbidden. Jehovah said means that it was so. Look, the people are on, the people are one, and they all have one language. Means that religious truth and doctrine were the same for everyone. And this is what they are starting to do, means that now they are starting to alter, alter. What is this? Alter. Alter, like change. Mm -hmm. Alter. Mm -hmm. Alter, modify, transform, reshape, alter. They are starting to alter, and now nothing would be prohibited to them that they th thought to do means unless they their status now changes. Jehovah said means that it was so, as can be seen from the previously demonstrated fact that this passage is not genuine history, but made up history. So when it says Jehovah said the soul thing is means is it means the soul thing it means is that it was so which is what is this what, what is this it's, it's a book i'm i'm reading this book uh, secrets of heaven you can see on the stream uh, this is this book i read by manuel swedenborg uh, well, is, it, is it like a christian faith book yeah, it's Christian. It's about spiritual meaning of the book of Genesis of the Bible. Gotcha. When was it written? Sorry, what, what, what do you say? When was it written? When it was written? Yeah. What, yeah. what mm -hmm. point in when time was, it written? was the book written? Mm, 17th century. Pretty accurate. Okay. Fine piece. Mm -hmm. Demonstrated. 
uh, the soul thing. So, soul. Like soul thing, like single. Uh -huh. Food soul. But we, 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 when we say the soul thing. Soul thing. Soul thing. Mm -hmm. Like single thing. Mm -hmm. The soul thing. The soul thing, it means, is that it was so, which is what it meant in many earlier passages. Look, the people are one and they all have one language, means that religious truth and doctrine were the same for everyone. This can be seen from the symbolism of a people as religious truth and from the symbolism of a language as doctrine. The symbolism of a people is a religious truth, that is, uh, those who have religious truth was illustrated before it. The symbolism of a language as religious doctrine was illustrated above at verse 1. The people and their language are said to be one. When everyone adopts the common good of society, the common good of the church and the kingdom of the Lord as goal, under those circum circumstances, the Lord who brings about the unity of all is present in the goal. When we adopt our own welfare as, a, as the goal, however, the Lord cannot be present in any way. Our very self-absorption, 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 Self-absorption. Egocentrism. Like egocentrism. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like egocentrism and egoism. 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 Mm -hmm. Self-absorption pushes him away. Under these circumstances we deflect and divert to ourselves the common good. Deflect, divert. Divert. Divert, mm -hmm. divert. It's like send, uh, reject, destruct. Mm -hmm. Divert and deflect. 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 Like reject to deflect and divert to ourselves the common good of society, the common good of the church and even the Lord's kingdom. <clears throat> Treating them as if they exist for our own sake. In this way we take what is the Lord's away from him and replace it with ourselves. When this attitude takes over over in us. Attitude. Yeah. Attitude. It's like relation. Mood. Mm -hmm. When this attitude takes over in us, a reflection of it lurks on in each of our thoughts and lurks. Lurks or lurks? Lurks. Lurks. Lurks like hide. Of it lurk, lurks in each of our thoughts and even in the smallest facets of our thoughts. That is how it is with a person's dominant trait. The fact is not as obvious during bodily life as it is in the other life, where our dominant characteristic reveals itself through a kind of aura that everyone around us perceives. Our aura is like this because it emanates from everything inside us. If we focus on ourselves at every point, our aura usurps. What is this? Usurps. 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 It's like skis. 
misappropriate a sign in roach encroach 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 use use our usurps 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 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. usurps our our aurora usurps and just people there say absorbs everything that advantages advantages to us advantageous 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 mm -hmm. advantageous it's like pro profitable useful mm -hmm. advantageous uh, absorbs everything advantageous to us including all the pleasure of the spirits around us it destroys all freedom in them inevitably then people like this are obstra ostra ostra Ostracized. 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 Hmm. Maybe in dictionary. Ostracized. What it means? Despised. Despite his victories. No. Ostracized is when they separate you from the society. So they exile you, or they put you out of the society, or they ignore you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, yeah, to exclude from a group by common exactly. consent, yeah? Mm -hmm. That is the thing. So they, they uh, socially exclude you. It's kind of a punishment like the exile, no? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. These are ostracized. <clears throat> But when the people are one and they have one language, that is when the common good of all is what people focus on, then the one ever uh, use, use, user, usurps, mm -hmm. usurps, I forgot to how to pronounce, usurps. Usurps. Yeah, usurps. No one ever usurps another's happiness or destroys another's freedom, but promotes and increases it, it as much as possible. That is why heavenly communities seem to form a unit, and this is the effect of mutual love alone, which comes from the Lord. The same is true in the Church. The sequence of events shows that this is what they start to do means that now they were starting to alter. Starting to do symbolizes their thinking or their intention and so their goal, as can be seen from the next clause. And now nothing would be prohibited to them that they thought to do. The reason his goal is symbolized at an inner level is that the Lord regards nothing in us but our goal. No matter what thoughts we have, though thought, what thoughts we have thought or deeds we have done in all their countless permutations, permutations. What is this? Permutations. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like tops. It's like any permutations mm -hmm. to change um, some, something. Permutations, okay. Countless permutations, as long as our purpose is good, these things are all good. When our purpose is bad, on the other hand, those things are all bad. Our final goal is what prevails in every single thing we think or do. The angels with us are the lords, and therefore what they govern inside us are our purposes. When they govern this, they also govern our thoughts and deeds, because all our thoughts and deeds are included in our purposes. Whatever we aim at is our actual life. Whatever we aim, it is our actual life. 
aim. What's this? Aim. It's goal, purpose, objective. Whatever we aim, it is our actual life. The aim brings everything we think and do to life, since again, it embraces everything we think or do. So the nature of our goal determines what our life is like. A goal or purpose is nothing but love, because the only thing we can adopt as a purpose is something we love. Even those who think one way and talk to another still have something they love as their goal. Within the pretense or deceit itself lies the goal which is self-love or materialism. And this is the joy of their life. Accordingly, as anyone can see, the nature of our life reflects the nature of our love. These are then uh, the thing symbolized by starting to do. The fact that and now nothing would be prohibited to them that that they thought to do means unless their status now changes can be seen from what follows. The word sinner meaning is such that it constantly focuses on what follows and on the ending, even when this focus is not evident in the literal meaning. When people like those described above, nothing is prohibited that they think to do unless their circumstances change. What follows will show that their circumstances did indeed change. The thought of doing something is the same as an intention, or in other words, a purpose. No human purpose can ever be prevented, prevented, changed. In other words, unless conditions change in the person, because our final goal constitutes our actual life. As I said, when conditions change in us, our, our goal also changes. And with the goal, our thinking would change in status secured for the people of this church will be told below by the Lord's divine mercy. Any Comments, maybe? <clears throat> maybe someone wants to read next verse. Genesis 11, 7. Come, let us do, let us go down and model the language there so that a man will be unable to understand the language of his companion. Come, let us go down means that a judgment therefore occurs, and uh, model the language there means that no one knows any doctrinal truth. So that a man will be unable to understand the language of his companion means that they all clash. What's clash? Clash. Mm -hmm. Right, conflict. Fight. Clash. The meaning of come, let us go down as the fact that a judgment the fair curse is established by remarks about at verse 5 about the symbolism of, of going down. The reason it says let us go down and let us model their language in the plural is that a judgment is being executed and uh, spirits, evil spirits, are the agents. The meaning of let us model the language as the fact that no one knows any doctrinal truth can be seen from the symbolism of a language. A leap or speech as doctrine discussed about verse 1. This leads to the conclusion that muddling the language is uh, bringing confusion to the things doctrine reaches, that is, to doctrinal truth. At an inner level, muddling something symbolizes not only darkening, 
it but also obliterating it and uh, scattering it to the winds so that, that there is no longer anything true about it <clears throat> when self-worship replaces worship of the lord all truth is perverted not only is it perverted it is also abolished and in the end the falsity is acknowledged 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 as truth and evil as goodness all the light of truth comes from the lord and every bit of darkness from humankind when human beings stay, take over the lord's role in worship the light of truth becomes darkness the people see light as darkness and darkness as light the same holds true for their existence after death a life of falsity is like light to them but a life of truth is like darkness the light in this false way of life turns into pure dark pure darkness though when they go near heaven during this during the time they live in the world admittedly they can speak the truth in fact they can do so with eloquence and seeming zeal and uh, since <clears throat> eloquence 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 like oratory mm -hmm. oratory 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 or like to speak with expression eloquence oratory and seeming zeal and since they never stop mirroring everything back onto themselves they also see themselves as believing what they say but their real aim is worship of themselves and the effect the same has on their thinking is to keep them from acknowledging the truth except so far as they can find the self-serving angle to it <clears throat> angle mm -hmm. self-serving angel maybe it's angel no it's angle but i don't understand what it means self-serving angle to it because i see it's not angel but like aspect maybe aspect yeah self-serving angle to it when people who carry truth on their town are like this the truth clearly is not true for them this fact is obvious in the other world where such people not only fail to acknowledge the truth they proclaim that during bodily life but even hate and attack it the less they lose of their arrogance and self adulation the more they lash out at truth lash lash out lash mm -hmm. like a talk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah like a talk lash out at truth mm -hmm. and uh, self-adulation self-adulation Adul ah, self-adulation 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 like to worship mm, ourselves. To ourselves. Mm -hmm. Self-adulation. So that a man will be unable to understand the language of his companion means that they all clash or oppose each other as is clear from the words of themselves. Being unable to understand the language of a companion is not acknowledging what another is saying. In an inner sense, it means not acknowledging what another teaches, or in other words, not acknowledging another's doctrine since a language. A leap or a speech as doctrine is doc a language, a leap of, or a speech is doctrine, as shown above at verse 1. They do acknowledge it with their mouth but not with their heart and harmony of the mouth is yeah it's it's interesting because um, it means that if we don't agree with 
uh, many points of view of another person of our companion like that it means we uh, we we are unable to understand uh, his or her language like he is not acknowledging language the language of a companion is not acknowledging what another is saying because I don't understand what you mean. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I don't understand what you mean like this. They do acknowledge it with their mouth, but not with the heart. And harmony of the mouth is nothing in the face of discord at heart. The situation here resembles that of evil spirits in the next life. Like good spirits, they divide into separate separate communities but what keeps them joined together are the times formed by their having similar hallucinations and cravings they are they act as one then in attacking what is true and good and so they have something in common something that binds them together as soon as this common bond dissolves however dissolves 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 it's like vanish mm -hmm. dissolves however each spirit assaults the next what is this? what is assaults assaults mm, it's like attack each spirit assaults the next and their pleasure then consist in torturing their companions one and all the case is the same with this type of doctrine and culture in the world adherents adopt a single doctrinal perspective and style of ritual compatibly enough compatibly compatibly Mm -hmm. It's like together, maybe. Compatible enough. But the bond they share is self worship. So far as they are able to participate in this common activity, they acknowledge one another's points of view. But so far as they cannot participate, no hope to participate, they break, break apart. The reason given just above is that none of them knows any truth. Each takes falsity as truth and evil as goodness. This now is what it is for a man to be unable to understand the language of his companion. Any comments? And uh, who wants to read next? Maybe Genesis 11:8. Nobody wants to read? <clears throat> okay. Genesis 11, 8. And Jehovah scattered them from there over the face of the whole earth. And they stopped building. Jehovah scattered them over the face of the whole earth. Here as before means that they were not acknowledged. And they stopped building the city means the doctrine of this kind was not accepted. The meaning of Jehovah scattered them over the face of the whole earth as the fact that they were not acknowledged can be seen from statements about at verse 4 where the same words occur. The meaning of they stopped building the city as the fact that doctrine of this kind was not accepted can be seen from the symbolism of a city as doctrine demonstrated earlier in uh, 202 and from remarks about at verses 4 and 5 about the building of the city and the uh, tower 
These remarks show that such a doctrine or such worship holding self-love, self-worship did inside it was not allowed in this ancient church for the reason given in the next verse. Any comments? And go on to read next. I can read some lines. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For this reason, he called he called it its name Babel because there Jehovah modeled the language of the whole earth, and from there Jehovah scattered them over the face of the whole earth. For this reason, he called its name Babel symbolizes this type of worship because Jehovah modeled the language of the whole earth symbolizes conditions in the in this ancient church. In that inward worship is started to die out. The earth is the church and from there Jehovah scattered them over the face of the whole earth means this inward in that means that inward worship became non existent. The symbolism of for this reason he called its name Babel as this type of worship, specifically the type symbolized by Babel, is evident from what has been said so far. It is worship that has self-love deep inside it, and consequently, everything that is unclean and profane self-love is self-love is nothing but the nothing but the convict conviction that we answer to ourselves alone and the filth and profanity of human selfhood can be seen from the explanation presented earlier from what do you pronounce this I, I don't know it's maybe any Philitia. it's like maybe Greek yeah. Hebrew word maybe we can see in uh, I think picture how refers uh, to how a person views the cells and how they feel about their own body and mind okay so uh -huh. it's about like self-reflection mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. see ah uh, you can see image actually uh maybe here f f Felicia, like self love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love catalyst. So. Mm -hmm. From Philatia, from self love, that is, our a sense of autonomy flows every kind, every kind of evil, such as hatred, vengefulness, cruelty, adultery, deceit hypocrisy and godlessness. So when our worship harbors self-love or the desire to be our own ruler, it harbors evils like this, but with differences in amount and kind. Depending on the amount and kind of influence self-love has, this is where all profanation is worship comes from. The fact of the matter is that the more I love or is misplaced sense of independence forms its way into our worship. The more internal worship recedes or becomes non-existent inward devotion consists in an affection. Non-existent, non-existent, like yeah. it, it doesn't exist, yeah? Non-existent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. non-existent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Non-existent. N not existing. Non-existent. Non non-existent and not existing. <laughs> Synthesis. N not existing and non-existent. <laughs> Synonyms. Yeah. Absent. You can say absent. Mm-hmm. No. Faction. For what is good and an acknowledgement of truth. 
but the more ego egoism or self dependence advances or enters the more an affection for goodness and the acknowledgement of truth will draw or leave oneness can never coexist with profanation just as heaven can't coexist with hell the one needs to separate from the other that is what conditions in the lord's kingdom and the way it is organized require this is the reason why inward worship does not exist in those whose worship is called bible instead they worship something dead and even cat cadvora cadvoras that lies Cad cadvoras what is this cadvoras i for, for, forgot cadvoras ah, it's like it's about it's like about dead body mm, cadvoras cadvoras maybe maybe even... we can see in 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 web search maybe any picture to to better because it's better to memorize from pictures difficult words yeah cadavers like and yeah, you see <laughs> it's like this man michael fire film ah it's like film this man is cadavers mm, like it's like movie. movie yeah <laughs> it's about that mm, like zombie maybe yeah cadavers even cadavers that lies within it is evident then what outward worship is like when something like this lies at its core the fact that this kind of worship is well can be seen in the many places where the world describes as well a uh, babylon daniel contains one example in the statement in the state, uh, state. Would, you, would you like uh, to watch that movie cadavers <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, mm, it's, it's horrible probably it's a horrible movie <laughs> very horrible yeah, yeah like mm -hmm. that movie mm -hmm. that king of maybe long sign and dream its hand was gold its chest and arms silver its belly and thighs bronze its legs iron its feet part iron and part clay the status symbolizes the fact that from true worship they have finally evolved the kind of worship called babylon and that is why a stone cut out of a rock crushed the iron bronze clay silver and gold the state the statue of gold that i don't know trans that nebuchadnezzar nebuchadnezzar yeah nebuchadnezzar king of mm -hmm. nebuchadnezzar king of babylon it's a name of, name of king king of babylon set up and that the people worship was also nothing else likewise the fact that the king of babylon drank wine with his nobles out of the golden vessels from Jerusalem's temple that they praised gods made of gold silver bronze iron and stone and that this resulted in the handwritten handwriting on the wall then there was the command by Darius the mid that he be revered as god revered as god and there were the beasts beast. shut the fuck up fucking bitch pussy pussies wagwan pussies hey bitch and like was the wagwan pussies on in the john's book of revelation the fact that this kind of verse is symbolized and represented is clear to see not only in daniel and john but also in the prophets in sia their faces are faces of flame the stars of the heaven mm -hmm. the stars of the heavens heavens and their constellations do not set their light the sun has been shadowed over in its entrance and the moon does not radiate its light 
Tastium. Tastium. What is, what is what is this? I think it's uh it's maybe any name. Sam. Ah, uh, it's like mm -hmm, it's 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 a word. Uh, it's like beast of the desert. See, yeah. it's like it's Hebrew word, uh, like beast of the desert. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, discover the uh, theme like uh, ah has been rendered as everything from lions to. It's like from it's about lions like this team, like, like lion. Same, same light on oh. there, and their house has our family with oh him, oh him. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, what is oh, what is this? Oh, Ochim. Ochim, maybe. Ochim. I I don't know this word. Maybe you can see web search, web search and. Uh, Watch him, like maybe image. Mm. I don't know. Watch him a specific a sp species of animal classed with wild beasts of the desert. Yeah, it's like on uh, desert animals. Mm. With watch him. With watch him and daughters of the all life, all live there and stairs live there and him answer. In its mm. turn, place. Satyrs. Satyrs. Satyrs, yeah. Satyrs. Satyrs. Maybe you can see picture because, like, Satyrs. Maybe it's like in any character. Yeah, it's Satyr, like this. It's maybe from Greek mythology. Satyrs, like this. Like, uh, Demon like this, such a such a like this, mm. such a like warriors or something. Yeah, <laughs> and leap, leap there. And what is this? I am. I maybe we can see picture. I am mm. Israel region focuses on est establishing deeper con connection to Jewish values and to the land of well, like I don't understand what is what it means. A short form of the name like town. A town in the territory. It's like any land. So it's name of some place. Yeah, maybe, but answer in its places and serpents. Places and serpents in its pleasure. Leisure. What is house? It's house. Room. <laughs> ah, yeah. Holes. Mm -hmm. yes, holes, like, holes, yeah, like holes. room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This passage is talking about Babylon and describing the inner content of this kind of worship. It does so through the faces of flame, cravings, the failure of the stars, individual religious truths to sign, the overshadowing of the sun, sacred law, the failure of the moon, religious truth. As a, as a who, and mm -hmm. just uh, uh, what is failure? Failure. Ah, it's it's from error, yeah. Failure. Ah, oh, fail. Uh, fail error something. Failure. It's like fail, but failure like the same thing. Failure. You see, fail and terror, destruction, and like failure. Mm -hmm. Of the moon, religious truth as a uh, whole. Whole to whole. radiate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To radiate and the uh, CM 
Ochem. I think I'm pronouncing right. Ochem, Ochem. Daughter mm-hmm. of Abdaul, satyrs, yam, and serpents in various aspects of worship because these properties characterize self love or an insistence, insistence on autonomy. So in John, Babylon is also called the mother of obscen- obscenities and ab- abominations. And the same author calls it a dwelling place for serpents and a prison for every unclean spirit and a prison for every unclean and loathsome bird. Mm-hmm. Loathsome bird. Yeah. Uh, what is a loathsome bird? It's interesting, like, kind of bird. Like, maybe like vulture. Awesome bird. Because it's it's not like eagle maybe. Yeah, it's vulture. Mm-hmm. T- turkey vulture. Like this. <laughs> like this vulture. Mm. And uh, what is ups? Obscen- obscenities, obscenities to this. Obscenities. Uh, obscenities like foul language, mud. Yeah, like profanity. Bad language. Bad language. Mm-hmm. Obscenities. Obscenities. That man who who, <laughs> who came here recently, yeah. <laughs> he, he, yeah. he used <laughs> obscenities like <laughs> Mm, and uh, you only, in... you only can do just mute them. <laughs> yeah, insistence. What is this? Insistence. Insistence, like persistence, mm-hmm. demand, infusion, persistence, like this. Insistence. Mm-hmm. When such, okay, wait. Attributes. When such <clears throat> attributes lie at the core, obviously no religious goodness or truth can exist. And the good effects of love and the true ideas of faith retreat as those attributes invade. In Asia, they are also called God images of the Babylonian gods. The fact that self love, arrogant self dependence is what pervades self-worship or actually constitutes self-worship in is plain to see in Isha. <laughs> Isaiah. Prophet? Isaiah, okay. Prophet. Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Isaiah. Prophecy <coughs> is Bible. What do you pronounce this? Prophesy. Maybe it's prophesy. It's because it's an imperative sentence. Yeah, it's it's a verb. No, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a verb, it's a predicate, prophesy. predicate because you you sh- you must do it like uh, prophesy. It's not prophesy. Prophesy this, prophesy this parable over the monarch of Babylon. You have said in your heart, I will scale the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of God, and I will sit on the mountain of assembly. On the planks of the north, I will climb over the loftier spots of the cloud. I will become like the uh-huh. highest on earth class. You will be thrown down to hell. In this verses, clearly Babylon is one who wishes to be worshipped as a god. In other words, it is self-worship in the same author. Go down and sit in the dirt, virgin, daughter of Babylon, sit on the earth. There is no throne, daughter of the Cladian, you trusted in your weakness, you said there is no one to see me. Your wisdom and your knowledge turn you away. You said in your heart, I am, and there is no one else like me. 
in in Jerma. I don't know how to pronounce this. Jerma. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In Jerma. Here now I am against you. How do we pronounce that? Ruin. Uh, 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 ruin. Ruinous, maybe. Ruinous. Okay. Ruinous. Ruinous. Mm -hmm. Ruinous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like ruined. Stress. Ruined mountain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ruinous mountain running the whole earth. And I will stretch my hand out over you and roll you down from the rocks and make you a mountain of flame. If Babylon climbs into the heavens and if it fortifies its lofty. What is a flame? Make you a mountain of flame. Ah, it's about fire, yeah? A flame. Like flame of fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A flame. Flaming. Mm -hmm. Burning. Mm-hmm. A flame. Strong Stronghold. Mm -hmm. Strongholds. De destroyers will come to it from me. This too shows that Babylon is self-worship. Jeremiah describes the fact that they have no light of truth, none of the truth that faith spouses, but pure darkness. The word that Je Jehovah has is spoken against Babylon, against the land of the Chaldeans. A nation from the north will come up over them. It will make their land a desolation, and nothing will live in it. From human to animal, they will move off. They will live. The north stands for darkness or lack of truth. Lack of Luck. truth. Mm -hmm. Lack of truth. No human and no animal stand for lack of goodness for more on Babylon, see below at okay, where it speaks of Chelt Chalia. I don't know. Okay, anyone can read. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who wants to continue? Uh I can try. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Je Jehovah modeled uh, the language of the whole earth symbolizes conditions in this ancient church in that inward worship started to die out. This can be uh, seen from the fact that it refers to the language of the whole earth rather than the language of the people who started to build the city and the tower as it did before in verse 7. The language of the whole earth symbolizes conditions in the church, since the earth is the church, as already demonstrated in 662. Uh, numbers don't matter. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, this is how the case was with the churches that followed the flood. Uh, there was three of these. It's flood. It's not okay, flood. flood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, churches, and they are specifically mentioned in the word. Uh, they were the first ancient church, uh, named for Noah, the second named for Abel, and the third named for Jacob, and later for Ju Judah and Israel. In regard to the first, referred to as Noah, it was like apparent to the churches that followed. It was also more unblemished and innocent than they, as churches usually are in their beginnings. This can be seen from the first verse of the present chapter, which says that they had one language, or in other words, one doctrine, the universal recognition of charity as essential. But with the passage of time, the first church started to backslide, as churches do. The main cause was that many of the people in it began to redirect uh, others' worship to themselves, so as to make themselves more important than anyone else. This can be seen. What is backslide? I backslide. I go backwards. I disappear. Uh, yeah. Backslide. Mm -hmm. Disappear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like maybe mm -hmm, to. Uh, Backslide 
from faith like this. Mm -hmm. This too can be seen. Above in verse 4, since they said, Let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its head in the sky, and let us make ourselves a name. People of this type in the church could not help acting as a kind of fermenting agent or as firebrands. When sacred things were in, in imminent danger of being, being profaned by their conta contagion. Uh, what, conditions what in Cont yeah, I don't contagion. Know. Contagion. Contagion. Yeah, it's like infection, proliferation. Uh, it's like anything um, infect infectious disease like this. It's like a sickness. Their contagion. Mm -hmm. It's like maybe in, in figurative sense, conditions. Mm -hmm. This church changed. Uh, what is fire brands? Fire brands. Fire brands. Mm, it's like torch. Fire brands. And im, 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 Imminent, imminent, yeah, danger. Imminent. Mm -hmm. It's like near. Imminent, approaching like this, upcoming. Mm -hmm. Conditions in this church then changed by the Lord's providence. The church is in word worship. Mm -hmm. Go on. Ah, he left. The church's inward worship died out and its outward worship remained, which is symbolized here by Jehovah's modeling the language of the whole earth. This also demonstrates what the kind of worship called Babel was prominent not in the first ancient church, but in the time of the late churches. When human beings um, to be worshipped as gods, especially after they died. That is why the non-Jewish nations had so many gods. The point in allowing internal worship to die out and external worship to remain was to prevent profan profanation. The profanation of what is holy carries eternal damnation with it. No one is capable of profaning anything holy except those who possess a knowledge of the faith and the knowledge what they know. People who do not have the knowledge cannot profess it. Let anyone profane it. Let alone profane it. Deeper dimensions are uh, what can be profaned because they have a holiness to them which shallower dimensions do not. Their situation resembles that of people who do evil things but do not think evil thoughts. They cannot be held to account, to account for the evil they do, just as those who unintentionally, 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 mm -hmm. unintentionally, unintentionally, mm -hmm. like. Okay, unintentionally, do wrong cannot, and likewise those who lack rationality. So people who do not believe in life after death, but do engage in outward devotions, cannot profane anything that has to do with eternal life, because they do not believe in eternal life. The case is different with those who do not know of any acknowledge it, of and acknowledge it. This is also why we are allowed to live lives of indulgence and self-gratification. Indulgence. 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 Mm -hmm. Like pardon, tolerance, mercy. Indulgence. To live lives of indulgence and self-gratification. 
self gratification self gratification it's like self satisfaction which lead us to disengaged disengage 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 it's like switch off disengage disconnect disengage 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 escape mm -hmm. to designate from deeper concerns rather than come into the knowledge and acknowledgement of those deeper realities and profane them for the same reason jews today are permitted to immerse themselves in greed so that they will therefore be all the more unlikely ever to acknowledge deeper realities they na their nature is such after all <laughs> it's interesting it's about jews once again to understand it for the same reason for the same reason jews today are permitted to immerse themselves in greed so that uh, they will therefore be all the more unlikely ever to acknowledge deeper realities mm -hmm. the more unlikely ever to acknowledge deeper realities their nature is such after all that if they acknowledged these things they could not help profaning them nothing distracts a person more from deeper concerns than greed since this is the lowest earthly appetite many people in the church are in a similar situation and those in lands outside the church are too the latter non-christians are the least capable of all of com committing profanation this uh, then is the reason the present verse uh, the reason the present verse says that jehovah modeled the language of the whole earth it is also the, the reason these words mean that the status of the church changed in that its worship became superficial and devoid of any inward devotion the captivity in babylon into which the israelites and later the jews were carried off had a similar representation and symbolism jeremiah de deals with it this way and there will be a nation and kingdom that have not served babylon's king and those who have not put their neck into the yoke of babylon's king with sword and famine and con contact contagion i will exact punishment on what is contagion contagion oh, it's like infection infectious disease mm -hmm. contagion i will exact punishment on that nation until i finish them off with my hand to serve babylon's king and put one's neck into his yoke is to be stripped of all knowledge and acknowledgement of the goodness and truth that faith embraces so it is the loss of inward worship this is even more evident elsewhere in the same prophet this is what jehovah has said to all the people in this city your sisters and brothers who have not gone out with you into captivity this is what jehovah sabbath has said look now i am sending sword famine and contagion on them and i will make them like a revolting fix a revolting revolting it's like disgusting fix starting in the city and not going out to babylon's king represented and symbolized those who had a knowledge of deeper things religious truth 
and you profane them. The passage says that sword, famine, and contagion, contagion, the penalties for profanation would be sent on them and that they would become like a revolting fix. Babylon symbolizes those who rob others of all their ability to know and acknowledge the truth and this representation and symbolism appears in the following words from the same prophet. O Judah, I will give into the hand of Babylon's king and he will carry them off into Babylon and uh, strike them with the sword. And I will give all the wealth of the city and all its toil and everything precious in it and all the treasures treasures of Judah's king I will give it into the hand of their enemies and they will plunder or plunder it all and seize it toil i forgot what is toil mm. toil it's like work hard hard work mm -hmm. toil at an inner level all the wealth all the toil, every precious thing, and all the treasures of Judah's king symbolize religious knowledge in the same author. I will bring the king of Babylon and the clans of the north over this land and over its resident residents and over all these nations and all around. And I will exterminate exterminate them and turn them into a ruin and a hissing and eternal wastelands and this whole land will become a wasteland hissing mm, yes it's it's like it's about like mm, sounds of snakes yeah, hissing uh, hissing Ah, hissing. 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 Mm. Hissing. 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 Mm hissing. -hmm. Hissing. Hissing. Mm -hmm. For example, a snake, a, a snake hissing. It's hissing. Yeah, like this. Hissing. It's the voice of snakes. Exterminate. Like di dis destruction. Yeah. Destroy. Exterminate. Exterminate. Distribute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh -huh. yeah, extermination. Yeah, it's like destruction. These verses use Babylon as an image for the way the deep aspects of faith second. Deep aspects of faith, inner worship, in other words, are wiped out. Anyone who, in, who embraces self-worship is devoid of religious truth as shown above. Such a person destroys and devastates everything that is true and leads it into captivity. So Babylon is also called a ruinous mountain. <coughs> in addition... Wow. See, so, what? Sorry? Mountain. Mountain. Ruinous Mountain. Ah, mountain, yeah. In addition, see previous remarks about Babylon in. Maybe they want to maybe they want to read. Maybe someone wants to continue this section. Yeah. The fact that and uh, from there Jehovah scattered them over the face of the whole earth means that inward worship became non-existent can be seen from the symbolism of being scattered as ever evaporating what is this evaporating, evaporating. what is what it, what it means is Ever. what is ah. Ah. evaporating mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. evaporating mm -hmm. Evaporating, mm -hmm. thank you. It's evaporating, the di di direct reference in, in right. being. 
direct but direct yeah and direct i i, I know this word has dual, dual pronunciation like direct and uh, direct yeah direct but transcription is like direct do you see direct direct Just maybe remember to put the stress in the first uh you know uh, what is it called i forget it's english mm -hmm. when you you know know where to put the stress it's usually like in front like direct, direct, you know, direct, not direct, direct. Usually, the stress is in the front. Mm -hmm. Direct. But in in American, we can say direct. They see this uh, di dictionary uses maybe American. Direct. Like direct. Mm, maybe not sure. Mm. <laughs> I, I i heard uh, like uh, uh, a lot of people say <laughs> direct but indirect like a lot of people say too <laughs> hmm. okay and the direct ref ref uh, uh, reference in being scattered over the face of the whole earth is to be is uh, to the people who wanted to build the city of babel at the same time, though, since they are people who rob others of all ability to know the truth, as I said, these words symbolize being deprived of inward worship. The one is a consequence of the other. It is the consequence that is meant here because the words appear for the third time. Consequence, I forgot. What is this consequence? Consequence. It's like result, yeah? Result. Result, yeah. Impact, maybe. Mm -hmm. Consequence. Yeah. <clears throat> the fact that the first ancient church was stripped of what is what it knew about truth and goodness can be seen from the fact that most of the nations composing the church became idolatrous, although although they retained a certain sort of outward worship. Idolatrous people outside the church meet with a much better fate than the same kind of people inside the church. The former are outward idolatr idolaters. The idolaters yeah i know this word it's like people who wo worship to idols yeah daughter daughters worshiper yeah idolaters admire Idolat idolaters like again the idolaters idolaters, idolaters. Mm -hmm. All right. idolaters. okay actually i i can show a picture to better memorize this word that's uh not necessarily <laughs> the, this uh, picture maybe you can see like uh, that is excessive <laughs> yeah like right. this like this and yeah i i idolatry mm -hmm. in britannic every native knows this word anyway mm -hmm. Outward idolaters, the latter, and are inward idolaters. Uh, that the fate of the former is better becomes clear from the Lord's words in Luke and Matthew. This then is the reason that conditions in the first ancient church changed. Genesis uh, next verse, Genesis eleven ten. Who wants to read? Maybe do you want to read? Can you read from this? Because we read verse by verse. Oh, I will read a little bit. I'll try. <clears throat> okay, go, go ahead. These are the births of Ham. Ham was a son of the of one hundred years, and he uh, fathered uh, Al Alpashart, 
Al Al I'm not sure. Al Pashard is it's a name, obviously. Yeah, a name. Two years after the flood, flood. Uh, these Fl are flood. The it's it's flood. It's flood. flood. Yeah, flood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's flood. Yeah, flood like wa water, too much water. Mm -hmm. The these are the bir births of Shem symbolizes uh, development in the second ancient church Shem is in word worship in general 100 years symbolize the state of that church in the beginning our was a nation by that name and it's it is it symbolize uh sec, 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 secular 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 Secular, yeah, secular knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Secular, okay. Two years after the flood means the second church after the fl flood. 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 That's a different one. Flood. What? What is? No, the, it, it, it's the same. The capital. What, is, what does it mean? Ah, uh, because it's is a mm, flood. big flood, oh. like oh, the big one. Flood. Yeah, like uh, oh, then, then. What's the fl oh the flo the f this one starts from the capital and the the one that at like on top start from the well, yeah be because it's like flood like a b c common name, but f this flood is like proper name, okay. the flood. Uh -huh. All right, that's the Bible, obviously. Mm -hmm. Reading Bible. It's it's about spiritual meaning of the Bible and uh, he, Swedenborg. It's a book of Swedenborg, uh, Secrets of Heaven, and he explains the spiritual meaning of the Book of Genesis of the, of the Bible, like inner meaning. In, in inner sense, it's not about past. It's not about historical events, but it's about now. It's about mind, like that, uh, like state okay. of mind and. Right. Well, I had a great time. I gotta go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you for reading. Uh -huh. <coughs> the symbolism of this is uh, the birth of Shem. Uh, maybe someone wants to continue? The symbolism of this are the birth of Shem as developments of the second ancient church is established by the symbolism of birth as the origin and development of doctrinal matters and forms of worship. This symbolism was mentioned before. Birth here and elsewhere in the world are simply phenomena in the church and consequently the matters of doctrine and worship. The words in Armenian involves nothing else. So when a church is born, the text says that it's birth uh, such and such. When the earliest church was born, for instance, Genesis 2, 4 said, these are the birth of the heavens and the earth. Again, when the, the other churches that came after that one. Consequent, I forgot what it means. Consequently, consequently, mm -hmm. it's like therefore, mm -hmm. consequently, came after that one, but before the flood, we were born. Genesis 5 1 said, This is the book of the birth. Likewise, with the churches after the flood, of which there were three. The first called Noah, second name for a bear, and the third third named for Jacob and later for Judah and Israel. When the previous chapter describes the first of these churches, it starts the same way at verse one. These are the birth of Noah's sons. The second church named for a bear is described in similar words in the present verse. These are the births of Shem, and verse twenty seven of the present chapter says of the third, these are the birds of Terra. So the core meaning of birds is the origin and development of the church's doctrinal matters and forms of worship. 
that are being described. The reason that uh, the birth of this second church are credited to Shem, or in other words, that the church is described as starting with Shem, is that the symbolizes is that he symbolizes inward worship. Here he symbolizes the inward worship of this church. The implication is implication. Implication. Mm -hmm. It's like meaning and involvement, involvement, consequence, conclusion. In this sense, the implication may be meaning. Mm -hmm. The implication is not that the inward devotions of this church will be like those symbolized by Shem in the last chapter. It is just that these were the inward devotions of this particular church. Devotions. Mm -hmm. Devotions. It's like loyalty, mm -hmm. dedication, piety devotions the fact that shem is inward worship in general is now apparent from the above apparent 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 it's like obvious visible is now apparent from the above the nature of inward worship in this church reveals itself in the names of those listed after Shem. To be precise, that worship was an intellectual ex exercise as the different numbers of years involved the proof once they are examined and explained. 100 years symbolizes the state of the church in the beginning. This is established by earlier statements and evidence about the symbolism of numbers and years as periods and uh, conditions or states but explaining the identity and nature of the states symbolized by 100 years and by the numbers of years in the in the rest of the chapter would take too long besides it is quite complicated Mm -hmm. Complicated, but complete. Mm -hmm. Complicated, complex, mm -hmm. complicated, difficult, quite complicated. The fact that Harpachhad was a nation by that name and that it symbolizes secular knowledge was mentioned in the last chapter at mm -hmm. verse 22. The symbolism of two years after the flood as the second church after the flood can be seen from the fact that in the word a year symbolizes a whole period, whether short or long, fewer, 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 it's like less, mm -hmm. few, ah, it's from few, few. Few and fewer, like least. Fewer years or more as do a day and a week. In fact, these units of time even symbolize the abstract idea of a period. This is visible in the passages quoted above it. Mm, the same holds true here. Two years after the flood symbolizes the church's second period, which began when the second church started. Mm -hmm. Genesis 11 11. Mm -hmm. One street. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. this region is over. Have to go and. Uh, See you.